compensation for personal services. There's certain things that are going to throw up red flags, danger, 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 anytime these happen. The first one is if you're paying the members of your non-federal entity. Now this term members can be confusing to people. For example, let's say that you have an association of uh, physicians and you're paying a, a dividend to each of your members of that association. Those costs would be, should not be paid for by the federal government. So when they talk about members, they're talking about members of your association or things like that that aren't directly a form of compensation for doing some work on a program, that type of thing. So that's what they will always throw up a red flag. If you're paying your trustees, directors, or officers, now many times on nonprofits, these people serve for free and they get to go out to a really nice dinner and have some wine. Hopefully it's not the wine in the box, uh, some nice wine with their dinner in, in exchange for serving on these boards for free. So anytime you're paying those board members, again, that might be a danger, danger, danger when it comes to the federal awards. That doesn't necessarily mean you can't pay them, you just can't use federal dollars to pay for those positions. And any time the compensation policy changes dramatically right after you get the award, that's going to send up a red flag. This is the example where the nonprofit goes, you know what, we've all been underpaid for years and now that we have that federal funding, let's give everybody a 50% raise because now you're finally going to get the payment that you're, you're the pay that you're worth. So those are the types of things that throw up red flags when it comes to cost allowability and oftentimes will be viewed and may, may be disallowed because they're not, um, it's not allowable to do those things. Thank you.